Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Respected brothers and sisters I would like to talk a very important subject which you must be follow and practice in your life that is known as importance of parents in Islam Hope this video will help you and remind to you be good deeds inshallah Our parents are a special gift from Allah They love us and kind us They cure us and help us as we grow up our parents always want what is the best for us. As Muslims, we commanded to obey, honor, respect our parents in our entire lifetime. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 83. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa bil walidayn ihsana wa zil qurba wal yatama. Be kind to your parents and relatives and orphans and those in need and speak nicely to people. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said further in the Quran, Surah Al Isra, chapter number 15, verse number 23. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُ إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبَرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفٍّ وَلَا تَنْهَرْهُمَا وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا And your Lord has decreed that you worship none but Him and that you be dutiful to your parents if one of them or both of them attain old age in your life said not to them a word of disrespect nor shout to them but address them in terms of honor subhanallah akbar islam raised the parents status especially our mothers our beloved prophet sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah peace be upon him he said Hadith number one in the Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. An Abi Hurairata radiallahu ta'ala anhu Qala jaa rajulun ila rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Faqala ya rasulallah Man ahakkun nasi bi husni sahabati Qala ummuka Summa qala man qala ummuka Summa qala man qala ummuka Summa qala man qala abuka Hadrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala has narrated that a man asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam O Messenger of Allah who deserves the best cure for me Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said your mother the man asked who then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied your mother the man asked yet again who then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, your mother. The man asked once more, who then? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, your father. Subhanallah. Hadith number two in the Sahih Tirmizi. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it means, no father can give his child anything better than good manners. Subhanallah. Hadith number three. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Qala rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Inna al-jannata tahta aqdam al-ummahat It means Paradise lies under the feet of the mother Subhanallah Hadith number 4 Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said It means Parents are the gate to the paradise Parents happy, Allah happy you. Parents sadness, Allah will sadness you. A good Muslim child always is kind to his parents. He cures to them. Quran has made it the compulsory of the child to teach the, his parents with all goodness and mercy. 
So we must cure our parents. We must be kind to them. We must listen, listen to what they say. Our parents always want what is the best for us. Children are must show love and attitude to their parents. They must always speak to them with gently and respectfully. They must try to best to their make happy. Supplication for them, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us in the Quran, in the following verse, Rabbi rahamhuma kama rabbayani sagira. We must always continue praying for them even after they die. I would like to say thank you for listening to my video. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure you.